Hey you guys, welcome back to Love for Plants. I'm Erin and today I want to go over the Christmas arrangement that I purchased. Um, I'm actually going to start separating this plant. I already took a spider plant out of this in December. So there are two, three, four, there were five plants in here um, for $25. Um, so really that's like $5 a plant. So if you're out looking for plants, sometimes it's good to look for an arrangement and then plants that you like in that arrangement. And when you look at the overall cost, five plants for $25, $5 a piece, pretty good. So just a quick pointer on that. But I wanna take this apart today because, sorry for all you poinsettia lovers out there, I am not a fan. Um, they're so hard. They like to stay moist, they like certain things, and I just really don't like them. Um, so I'm taking it out. That was one plant in there. Now there are two golden, golden photos in here. Um, and there's one more spider plant in here. Some of these goldens look really good. I'm debating on keeping it in the hanging, or in this container and putting, uh, things to hang it and make it a hanging plant. The spider's coming out and going in its own pot. It actually has babies growing on it. I love it. Spiders are one of my favorite plants. And I haven't watered this plant in oh, probably three weeks. And it still looks really good, but I knew I was going to be separating it. And as you can tell, hold on, I'm stuck over here. <laughs> this is root bound. So this plant actually needs repotted. This soil is really bad. Like, it doesn't even crush up. It's not holding any moisture, which again, I haven't watered in three weeks, so that's probably part of it. Um, so we're just gonna do away with this soil quick and get it fresh and separate all of these. So you can tell, I took the poinsettia out of here. It just came out easily. My soil's nice and dry, so you can just kind of pull these gently apart and it's gonna separate into all these other plants. So just keep pulling gently. Gently does it, easy does it. All right, so there's one golden. Like I said, that Average out to be $5. You can't find a big golden like this normally at the big box stores for $5. So, totally happy with that. Separate these last two. Same method, just gently pull. Gently, gently. And this is why I do a lot of my work in the garage. I make a mess, so. Sorry you have to always see the garage. That's the spider. All the roots look wonderful. Now there are some spiders in the golden that I'm gonna pull out. I don't want it growing with my golden later on. I'm gonna break up some of this soil, get it off the roots. And really I'm just putting my hand in there and kind of shaking it loose. I got poinsettia stuck to it. All right, so there is another golden. Nice, big, beautiful. Like I said, I haven't watered these in three weeks. So if you're always wondering about watering, your plant is gonna show you signs. There's no regular watering schedule. Um, I know some people are like, oh, I need to water it weekly. I need to water it every two weeks. Look at your plants, they will give you signs. I actually have a video posted check that out, it'll help you out. Um, so like I said, three weeks of no water, pretty dry, um, but he's not drooping yet, he's not curling, he's still good. So let me move all this dirt that I just produced. Now, I got a few different um, containers out here. I do like to keep my plants in the nursery pots. Um, for me, I like my plants to dry out, and I think nursery pots do a very good job at drying out. They don't retain too much moisture. Um, I found 
that I don't get as many plants with root rot or yeah, root rot um, as I did in like ceramic pots and things like that. And don't get me wrong, I think ceramic pots are beautiful, um, but just nursery pots. And then I'll find a container I like and I'll sit the nursery pot in that pretty pot. Um, and I have more success with my plants. So I got a few different ones. These roots actually fit that pot really nice. There's still space in there. So that is the size pot I'm gonna use for this. So let's get started on that. Let me get some new dirt in the bottom. I'm gonna stand over here on the side and throw dirt in. So sorry, you guys can't see me. Put a little dirt in the bottom. Stick this in there. And then throw a little dirt on the top and on the sides. So I'll bring my nifty little container over here. I hold all this up and just dump it in. And it's gonna fill all those sides and the top. I tend to overfill and then you push down around the sides and the dirt's gonna go down into the gaps. And then I always like a little extra soil on the top after I push it all down. And to me, this just kind of holds the plant up a little bit more. So it's just barely under, the dirt is barely under the lip of the container. Um, and that is it, that is planting that spider. Now when I water him, since it's winter, I don't like to water from the top in the winter. It drives me crazy with the gnats. Um, because these roots are so good and so long and fit the container nicely, I will bottom water. Um, it might take 30 minutes the first time um, to really saturate the soil because it's new soil. Um, but I'm going to let it sit in there until I see the top of the dirt start to get dark. That shows that the water has been soaked up through the bottom to the top. Then I'm going to cut it off. I'm not going to let it drink anymore because I like the top being dry. Helps with the gnat issue. So keep that in mind as well. I'll post a video on the, in the future about gnats. Um, but this spider is done and he's a beautiful plant to add to my collection. He does have some brown tips. Um, as you've heard in some of my past videos, brown tips don't bother me that much. I could trim them off. Um, I will probably just leave them on there. So I'm going to set him to the side. Now, two of the goldens. I have a ton of goldens upstairs already. Um, so I don't think I'm going to separate these two that I took out. I think I'm going to put them back together and have a nice full plant. I find that I propagate a lot, so... I don't need a lot of small ones anymore. Um, so I'm just gonna get some of this dirt out of this one. I am going to, where did I put my scissors? I'm gonna cut this tag off of this. Now I got a new pot. Um, I haven't had any issues with spider mites or um, gnats or anything like that, any kind of little critters. Um, so I'm not gonna clean the pot. You probably should just to be on the safe side, but I've had this plant for over a month and haven't had any issues. So I am gonna dump this soil. I'm actually gonna dump it here on the table. Um, it's just stuck in there really well. I'm gonna put some new soil in the bottom, just like I did the last time. Okay, now we're just gonna gently set these in here. Nice, beautiful roots. Set those in there. Set this other one in here. I'm gonna kind of let them lean over the sides. Make sure you get their roots right here down in, in the pot. Roots grow, grow down. This one's gonna take a little bit more dirt because there's Obviously, a lot of plants are missing now that we've taken some out. Push that down in there like you did, like I did on the spider. I 
It's still got some big gaps. So just keep filling those in. Push it down gently. You don't have to be hard on it. I'm over here getting some dirt, you guys. Okay. Try to lift up your leaves. Pour some more in. Push it down gently. plant in there. Make sure you go around all the edges. This is where the plant is, but there's still no dirt there. So fill that in, push it down. And just like that, we have just a pot of golden. So I will water this one exactly the same that I will the spider. Um, I will bottom water this one as well. I'm a bottom waterer in the sun, in the winter. And my plants are in the house. And like I said, because those roots are so big and so healthy, it's going to soak it up. It's going to soak it up right through the holes. I'm going to let it go again. I'm going to let it soak water as long as it wants until I see the top of the dirt getting dark. Then I'm cutting it off. That's all the water it's getting. And then I probably won't water again for three or so weeks, depending on what the leaves start telling me. Um, so keep those things in mind when you're watering your plants in the house. And keep in mind when you're out looking for plants to find some that are in arrangements. Instead of paying $25 for a, a plant like this, you know, I paid 10 or 10 total, five each, because of how I broke the arrangement down. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I cannot wait to get these beautiful babies back upstairs. Um, and like I said, I'll post videos again here soon. Hopefully my next one will be about gnats. So keep an eye on that as I know we all have gnat issues sometime um, during our, our plant. As I know we all have gnat issues, whether it be in the past or still coming in the future. So keep an eye on that. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching.